the Sanctuary of Light and the Light Institute welcomes each and all of you to this time of knowings and invites you to bring forward the questions of your hearts so that in our conversations we can uplift ourselves and so many others to a point of illumination and laughter. So please, you were saying? Yes. So, um, so during the meditation that we just did on yes. sickness, yes. one of the things that I was reminded of is, it's been many years ago, but I had a visualization like a, that someone had walked me through a meditation and it was with a dolphin and I had this clear message that I was supposed to get a, a ring through my nose. It was like a gift from the dolphin. I did not do that, and in the exact same spot, I actually had, I got skin cancer, and had to have that removed. Uh, so when it, it came to me that, you know, it was part of sickness, this not really being able to follow our intuition and the messages, and what the question would be is, how do we, you know, really ground ground in the messages that we get, really be in action about what we know? It's a wonderful question. I know that you're starting a, a Dolphins in the Desert, which I think is fantastic. Uh, you see, what we humans haven't figured out is that all of life is symbolic. And that uh, everything we perceive with our 70 senses, not with our five senses, but with our 70 senses, allows us to pass through all the veils, not only to receive messages, but to interpret those messages within the third dimension. So, of course, you didn't need to have a metal thing put in your nose. Now, it may have been that the cancer cells were already gathering there, because this, this is an acupuncture point and it has other meanings. And so the message might have said, if you put this metal in here, it may realign the cells. So it might have been actually a way of healing what was already there, even if it was uh, not yet visible or you were not aware of it. What we want to do when we receive something from another dimension, and, and of course we don't want to do that on a third dimensional level, is to do it on an energetic level. I received the gift. All that ne you needed there was, I received the gift. You know, and and then actually allow yourself not being guided in the meditation, but actually uh, allow yourself to perceive the the link up and see what it did for you. When I'm giving consultations, or when we're giving consultations here, we will often ask for a gift, a symbol, or an object, or a color uh, to take into the body that represents a message or a frequency or something that's being exchanged, and so. When that comes into the body, then we want to see what is it doing. And it's really amazing to, to recognize, oh, it's doing this, or it's doing that, or suddenly something is going on, so that when we focus our consciousness, we not only receive the gift, but we get it in its entirety. So that the translation from many dimensions um, goes back and forth. You know, uh, I remember when I was young reading... Uh, uh, a book called um, some like, Lompa or something. It was about a young boy in Tibet where they, they were going to open his third eye, so they just put a piece of wood in there and nailed it in, you know, right into his forehead. And I thought to myself then, you know, oh, there must be a much better way to do this. And that's where we are right now, to take this, the, the let's say, the dance or the third dimensional things and see how they segue spiritually, emotionally, uh, symbolically, and other octaves of energy that are very powerful to us. It's just that we use matter because we are in form right now. You know? And so we don't want to say, ah, I don't want a ring in my nose, of course, uh, because that gives another message to your face and to who you are, you know, and what you believe and all those conversations that, that might not have fit your world. But the receiving of the gift, and, and let me elongate that a little bit to say that in so many ways, in every day, we receive gifts from nature, from uh, the sun, from the wind, 
from the whisperings of our friends and our, especially our enemies, <laughs> from our higher selves, from our bodies. And so all that's saying is, it's time to awaken. It's time to pay attention to what's coming to us and to say yes. My higher self always says, that which does not belong to you will not stick to you. you know? So you can still receive it and let it pass through. We, we are so, I was looking around at people when we were doing, not necessarily you, but many groups of people as we were doing that exercise about disease. And I saw so much shielding, so much fear that something could attack us. As the Chinese would say, the evil chi is going to get you. No, really, nothing's going to get you unless it has some purpose for you. So that little cancer thing that had to be removed, I'm... Um, itself wasn't for you because you were cutting away or burning away or however you did that, stimulating something uh, that triggered uh, meridional points into your brain and into your body. You know? And uh, So if we saw things symbolically, let's say, we'd be less, much less terrified at the word cancer, terrified at you know, uh, something's going to get us. But rather, thank you, and I'll use that in the way that serves me, because that's the point. And sometimes we don't know how it serves us, but if we listen inside our higher selves and our physical body, our emotional body, will show us the gift of that. So thank you very much for that question. And let us all unravel those uh, terrific uh, shields that we have so that we can actually um, allow that which we, we have no recognition of its purpose to enter us and to be absorbed and utilized by all the levels of our consciousness and all the beings and the bodies that we carry.